good morning. This is my seventh grade class here. We are learning about similar figures today um, so we can review for our SOL. All right, so class, what do you guys remember about similar figures? Raise your hand. Deanna. Okay, London. There, so you see alphabets on here, right? So for this one, we see A, B, C, and then we see D, E, F. Okay, so, all right, so you see alphabetical order. So you said that similar figures, they have letters. Okay, what else, what else do we see? Yes, ma'am. Shapes. Okay, um, for similar figures, um, true or false, the similar figures have to have the same shape. What are two, uh, so let me rephrase that. The two figures that are being compared, all right? Do they have to, true or false, that they have to be the same shape? True, right? So I couldn't have a triangle and then have a square over here and try to compare them, correct? All right, so what else? Anybody else got anything they want to add on similar figures? All right, so. Let's start with the similar figures homework page. So everybody should be on this page here. All right. So, all right. It says similar figures homework. Find the value of x in each pair of similar figures. So, when we are trying to find a missing side on a similar, similar figure, what do we use typically when we're trying to find a missing side on a similar figure? Proportion. Where's that a mark? Proportion. Proportion, right? All right, so a proportion, all right? We have a fraction bar. We have an equal sign, all right? We have another fraction bar. How do we know what to put on our proportion, like placement. Is placement key on a proportion? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, you have to accurately put things in the correct spot to make sure that you're gonna get the right answer. So, but how do we know what to put on what side? What method helps you find out what to put on your proportion, Reagan? Limp over width. You said uh, limp over width? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got this triangle right here, all right? So we can say that this is our length, all right, width, all right? So we'll say that three feet is our length for this one, and we'll say width. All right, so we can say length over width, all right? But what's another thing that we can use for this? What, well, we got these two two letters here. So we got A and B and C. We got D, E, F. What, what could we use for this one? What's a proportion that we could use? All right, could we do side over side? Is that, could we do side over side? What do y'all think? Yes, no, maybe so? What do you think, Jahari? Can I do side over side for this one? So could I do side BA, all right? And could I do side AC? Yes. Yeah, right? So I could do BA over AC. So go ahead and write that down on your papers right there, all right? So we got BA over AC. So if these are similar figures right here, and we have BA over AC, raise your hand if you could tell me what I will put right here. All right, Victoria? DE. Hold on one second. So why did you choose DE? Right, all right, same, all right, these are similar figures, they're pointing the same direction, 
All right, so we said BA and DE were similar. All right, somebody, somebody in this section, all right? What would I put at the bottom over here? EF. EF, all right. And why did you choose EF? Okay, because this this looks similar to AC. All right. So once we're able to match up the sides for the similar figure, right? Then we just replace with numbers or variables. So I'm going to rewrite my proportion with the numbers and variables. All right. Tristan. What am I putting for BA right here? For side BA? Um, three. three. All right. Iker, what am I putting for AC? Four. Four. Good. Plus. Taylor, what am I putting for DE? Six. Six. All right. Excuse me one second. And then Anaya, what am I going to put for EF? X. X. All right. All right. So is our variable on the right side or the left side of this proportion? Right. right side. Right. So to find out what the value of X is, raise your hand if you could tell me what I need to do first. All right. Uh, London. 6 times 4. So I need to cross multiply. All right. So I'm going to do 6 times 4. All right. And 6 times 4 gives me what? 24. 24. All right. Then what's my next step? Divide by 3. Divide by 3. All right. Why didn't we divide by x? Because we're trying to find out what x is, right? All right. So divide by 3. All right. And x is equal to what? Eight. eight. All right, so x is equal to eight. All right, so we just said that x is equal to eight. Can we check to see if that's accurate after we find it? Yeah, yeah right? There's many ways we can check. All right, so let's start off with three over four is equal to six over eight. Right? So if we cross multiply both of these and we get the same answer when we cross multiply, that is one way to know that we have found the correct uh, number for x. All right? So we said that 6 times 4 was what again? 24. All right? And we said 3 times 8 was what? 24. All right? So that's one way you guys can check after you find your um, variable, all right? After you find the variable, this is the way that you guys can check. Butterfly method right here, we cross multiply. If, when we cross multiply and we get the same answers, we know that it is true. We also could check the values of these fractions, right? So 3 divided by 4 is equal to 0.75, all right? Also, 6 divided by 8 is equal to 0.75. So they share, all right, similar values, all right? All right, if we also were to simplify 6 eighths, all right, what can I divide 6 and 8 by? What number can two. I? 2, two right? So 6 divided by 2 gives me 3, and 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. So 3 fourths, all right, and 6 8 are the same. So for this one, it seems that it is flipped a little bit, right? Looks like it's like a little like slanted, right? Things that would help me is to just redraw it 
all right? Just translate it, right? So I'm going to just draw mine right here on the side. And what shape is this? Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Good job. All right, so it looks as x is a base. All right. All right. 18 is on the side. And it looks as if it's on the right side. So I'm going to put 18 right there. All right. I'm going to still label it. All right. So we got J. We got F. All right. We got G, and we got H. All right, so for this one, I, I would like for you guys to tell me what I am going to put for my sides. What are my sides? So give me one side, London. Um, so before we get into the numbers, let's do the sides first. CD, okay. So we got CD. All right. Somebody else give me another side. Reagan. AD. And you said AD? Okay. So we got CD and AD. All right. So London and Reagan have chose our sides. All right. On the left, similar figure. Let's figure out our ones on the right. Jahari. JF. Okay. JF. All right. <laughs> JF. Tristan. FG. Well, she said AD, so let's keep it with GF, but that would be the same, but let's just keep it the same there. All right, so now that we have found our sides, all right, now we can go ahead and put in our numbers. All right, so CD value is what, Jada? What's the value of CD? 12. 12. All right. What's I got? All right, Yaris, what is the value of AD, side AD? What is it? 14. 14, all right, so 14 feet. All right, Rochelle, what do we have for JF? 18. 18, all right. And then this is our variable. So what am I going to multiply first? Tim. 18 times 14. Why did you do 18 times 14? Because it's variable right there. OK. So, yep. So we want to cross multiply right there. No variables right there. So good. Good analysis right there. So 18 times 14. All right. Somebody type in their decimals, 18 times 14. One hundred fifty two? Two hundred fifty two, thank you. So two fifty two. All right, and while y'all got your desmos out, what am I gonna divide? X or twelve? Twelve. Twelve. And what's two fifty two divided by twelve? All right. So X is equivalent to twenty one. All right, let's move on to the last one here. All right, I'm gonna let you guys do this one independently. All right, I want you guys to try to solve this one on your own. And then we'll have a volunteer come up and solve it for us. Would you cross multiply? 15 and 12. 15 and 12. And you divided it by what? By 20. 20? OK. You done? Which, which part are you at? Okay, so you're on the right track. You done? What'd you get? Nah, good. What'd you get? All right, so let's see if we are all on the same page with this one. All right? All right, so. Let's start off with sides, all right? So I'm going to say side QR 
over RT. Raise your hand if you did that. All right, cool, all right. So I did L over M, and then I'm going to do M over O. Did anybody do anything differently? Tell me you did something different. All right. What was what was your proportion? Q R over, over L M. Yeah. Okay. Is equal to what? So, so, what's your numerator at the top? ST, okay. And what do you have here? MO. MO. All right, so we have QR, all right, which is the top, RT, which is the side. Over here we have LM, which is the top, and MO, which is the side. Now, Tim, let's just take a look at yours right quick. Right, so you have QR, all right, over LM, right? So you did top over top. So top over top is fine because with proportions, there's many ways to do them, right? But what threw me off here was when you said um, S over T, S and T, side ST. All right, side ST doesn't have anything here, right? So we couldn't use ST, but we could do RT. Is that what you had down at first, or did you, or did you have it? Yeah, so RT, right? So what you're doing there is top over top, side over side, all right? So we're going to solve this one first, and then we'll get to yours, OK? All right, so. We have 15 over x, which is equal to 20 over 12. So y'all cross multiply 15 times 12 and got what? 180. 180? Y'all divided that by 20 and got 9. All right, so x is equal to 9. All right, now let's write this proportion right here that Tim came up with, all right? So he got 15 up top, and then he has 20 at the bottom, all right? He has RT right there, so RT is X, and then he has MO, which is 12, all right? So, these are two different setups, right? These are two different setups. But what is, what is similar about them? Excuse me for a second. What, what's, raise your hand. What's, what's similar about these two proportions? Yes, ma'am. So, so 15 and 12 are still being cross multiplied. Good. All right. So this is showing, showing, all right, you can set up your proportion in different ways, all right, but they have to be aligned correctly. So even though he did QR over LM and we chose QR over RT, we still had to make sure that we are matching up the correct sides. Thank you for visiting our class. I hope y'all enjoyed our lesson on similar figures. Bye.